much this year. Over 30% of them come within 10 feet. Like that's not something you were oh, really? doing much of yet in Philly. Um, so I, I'm just curious, I guess you seem surprised by it, but is that something that, that you anticipated coming here just to just have it kind of come out? Yeah, I mean, you want to start from the inside out when you're, you're trying to get in the flow and, and make shots and in our offense, you know, from how it started, that's kind of where some of my shots have been. Mm -hmm. uh, early on in the year, I was taking some heavily contested threes and not making them. So, uh, you know, using my shot fake and getting to the rim has been uh, working out for me. It worked out in Detroit and hopefully it continues to work out through the year. But no, I didn't come in expecting that. But sometimes you just have to, I don't want to say reevaluate your game, a new situation. And sometimes you kind of got to fit, it, get in where you fit in. So you did it a little bit, I think, was it your third year in the league or so up in Philly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. putting the ball on the ground? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, it's something that I've gotten used to being able to get to, but obviously I'm pretty comfortable shooting threes, so to say the least. Has that part of your game been encouraged here? Yeah, I would say if the yeah. ball keeps going in, it'll be encouraged. I'm not sure if it, the <laughs> ball doesn't go in, if they'll keep encouraging me to put the ball on the floor. But, uh, no, I think, you know, the ability that you know these guys have given me to play make off the bounce and uh, get into the lane and you know shoot floaters is kind of unique here because there's always a big man that's ready to catch a lob at the rim. So if anybody who understands the NBA, a lot of guys don't like their guy scoring. So when I get into the lane, a lot of bigs are just backing right up to Evan or JA or even TT because they know that's an easy two points where they'd probably want me to try and make a a layup that isn't a dunk. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna stick to it. Max described the first 20 games as average. A couple of the other guys have used over the last couple of days inconsistent. Um, where you guys are and the fact that you haven't gotten the results, how do you stay confident? How do you stay believing that you're going in the right direction despite that? Shoot, I mean, we were injured for eight, nine games. I mean, how many minutes have we played with everybody healthy on the roster? I mean, it seems like, Zero. really? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, so we're waiting to, we got bit with the injury bug in the beginning of the year. There's gonna be teams that get bit with it in the 60 to 80 mark. So we're just trying to get healthy and continue to grow. And we have new pieces, like, you know, Max is a new piece, I'm a new piece. Um, you know, I wouldn't say Tristan's a new piece, but he's a new piece to, since he's hasn't been here. Um, even, you know, a guy like Craig Porter, who's, you know, learning. Um, so we're putting it together and I feel like there's been glimpses and where we know what the feeling of how we can be looks. Now we just have to do that consistently, you know, over time. And that's the toughest thing is in the NBA, you got to fight complacency. Sure, you can have four good games and feel like you're being consistent. And then the fifth game, you lay an egg and you don't want one game to turn into two games. And that's kind of what we're trying to avoid. Uh, you know, we want to build off what we did in Detroit. We want to build off what we did on that four game win streak after, you know, we came home from uh, Philly and then beat Toronto, beat Atlanta. Uh, so we're trying to consistently put that together, but I don't think anybody's discouraged or, you know, worried because uh, we haven't been healthy, which I'm not using that as an excuse, it's just reality. And uh, this stuff takes time. I, I think LeBron once said Rome wasn't built in one day. I'm not, do not quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> you just said it. Yeah, but, but, uh, but it's the truth. Like, you know, we're, we're looking to build something here over the long term, and obviously we want to get to a championship, but at the same time, it, it's going to take time integrating you know, all these pieces, especially when we have guys in and out of the lineup. Within those wins that you were talking about, where do you see the glimpses? Like, what are you seeing that maybe other people aren't? Uh, you know, the ball's hopping, you know, we're moving around, we're flying around. I think where we're best when we play fast. Um, and you know, when that ball's hopping, when the ball's hopping, it just feels like it has energy, you know, especially on the offensive end. and then. You know, we're flying around on defense. Evan's coming out of nowhere, blocking shots. Jay's coming out of nowhere. Max is getting leak out windmill dunks like I've never seen before. So it's just all good stuff happens, you know, when we're flying around, playing with energy. Did you know Max could hop like that? Um, from first glance, no. But now I know that he can, he can do that. So what do you mean impressive. by first glance? He just doesn't look like the guy that would be, you know, jumping high in the air. That's very immature of you to set me up like that. <laughs> How long does it usually take to fit in to a new team? And do you feel like 
you're there, you're there, you're here now. Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, the first 10 games I was, you know, running around, looking around, but, you know, I, I, I definitely feel really comfortable knowing my role and, you know, what's expected of me and what I can do and where my spots are going to be and what I have to do every single day. So I feel extremely comfortable. Uh, but like I said, you know, when we get our full lineup there, uh, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice, sometimes you're expected to do more, sometimes you have to do less. Um, but at the same time, I think uh, at this point, we're getting to the point where, you know, we feel comfortable and know what's expected of everybody.